Hello everyone, welcome to Wonder Lab. In this video, we are going to learn about an essential technique in screening drugs potentially activate or having side effect on motor coordination. It is called Rotorac test. It's very simple and non-invasive experimental method that allows assessment of motor function in rodents. You can assess balance, muscle strength, sensory activity, and movement abnormalities in transgenic mouse model or after traumatic brain injury. In this test, the rodent is placed on a rotating rod at accelerating or constant speed, um, but accelerating speed is more common to use. This test is really easy and simple, and the length of time that animal can stay walking will be recorded. To perform this test better, I would suggest to let animal acclimate to the experimental room. For example, I let my mice in their cages in room for about 15 minutes before I start. Another simple but important factor is size of cylinder. The bigger rod uh, are suitable for rat model. Also, don't forget to take note of mouse weight. Now let's see how to set up rotorot apparatus. This step may be different on your rotorot, but rest everything is same. In our lab, we use Yoko Basil rotorot with catalog number uh, 47600. So let's get started. First, you need to turn the rotorot on. You can find the on off switch behind, uh, behind of this model. As soon as the instrument is on, key function will appear vertically at the right of the display. By this key function, you can set different parameters. Now, if you select F1, operation will be activated. And by mood function, you can select a speed. Now you can press F1 for constant speed or F2 for acceleration. Okay, here let's select uh, F2 for acceleration. Now set the ramp duration. The maximum latency is set at 300 seconds uh, per trial. So let's set it at 5 minutes. We have different time based on your experiment. Now you can save duration by pressing F4. Then you have reverse option mode. If you select yes, once the top speed is reached, a deceleration phase will be a start. It means rotor will back to initial speed. Now let's set rotor speed. From main menu, press F1 operation and then select F2 speed. By pressing up and down arrow, you can change maximum speed. Let's set it at 40 and now by pressing F3, you can set minimum speed. Let's set it at 4. Then uh, instrument will do self adjustment. Now time to start our test. Let's get started. You only have to grasp the mouse from tail and put it on the lens. It may sound easy, but it's a little bit tricky. To do it easily, you need to flip mouse up by tail, right side up, but dorsal side at first. Uh, so mouse can't grab the rotating disc. Then just press uh, a start button and that's it. Now you just have to wait. The rod will accelerate based on your setup and when mouse falls, the timer will stop automatically. And you need to record this time. However, sometimes mouse hold the rod without walking for full rotation or mouse tears around backward. Uh, you can consider this situation as a fall and note them. Now let's see how to analyze our result. As I said earlier, rotor test examines motor function and at the end of your experiment you will have two set of results. For instance, you can see here Latency at which mouse stayed on the rod was longer in healthy mouse in compared with disease model. Also, the speed at which mouse can remain walking on rod is higher in healthy mouse while disease model is not able to remain walking at higher speed because of uh, impaired movement abilities. And finally, there are few tips you have to consider for all your animal experiments. Weight, sex, strain, environmental conditions such as lighting and temperature could affect your test. And most important thing is following ethical instruction to minimize pain and stress in your animal. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you found today's video useful to you, I would love to know. And you can tell me in one extremely simple way. Give this a thumbs up here on YouTube. And while you're at it, subscribe to this channel so you never miss one of Wonder Lab videos. Thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time.